What's up, guys? It is the 29th of March. Good Friday. So, good Friday. Um, look it up. If for some reason, you don't know what it is, but take a quick, quick uh, deep dive into that. But let's go over a couple of things here. So, price demand, anybody, you can claim whatever you want with respect to whether the prophet, whether it's the son of God, who he was, right? But the bottom line is, man, there are statements that he made teachings that was passed on and whether you think the person lived or didn't live it doesn't matter that these teachings have been here and they've continued to be here since for two thousand years right and let's talk about a couple of them right um people should love each other especially who are in distress they need to help each other out they need to serve each other that's that right there you can't Let's look at it in business, man. Customer service. That's what wins things. Not all the time is a price. It's who feels the best taken care of. I was just at dinner with a bunch of friends. I was speaking at an event yesterday, speaking again today. It's actually, I was running panels on panels. Today, I'm the final speaker of the event. I took some folks uh, with me, some friends. We went out to dinner. One of the most expensive restaurants I go, but I don't go because of the price. I go because when I pull up, the valet, no, valet knows who I am. The guy running the place is standing out front. The serve, servers know who I am. They take me to, to tables that fit my, my group and give us plenty of space. They're on top of it every single time. Those who take care of you, you want to take care of them back. It's just a good way to live life. So there's no way that that's a bad teaching, right? Um, the other is it's kind of... What do you say? He says, yeah, when you do unto others, you're doing unto me, more or less. If you're if you're in a religious thought process at all, and you're taking care of your fellow man, you're literally doing what God wants you to do and re responding to God. Also, love your enemy. Do good to people who try to harm you. Guys, that one's a tough one. That's a real tough one. But let me just tell you, I've had more than one situation in my business where somebody has done their best to be destructive to me. And the best thing I can do is just, hey, man, whatever I can do to help, whatever I can do to help. Um, and now sometimes you can't act, you don't act that way because we're humans. But what you find is the, le the less you let it bother you, the less you try and be vindictive back the more you actually continue to grow. And what I start to see is when these people are just seething pissed at you and they want to see you destroyed, they destroy themselves in the process. And you being trying to be helpful, they won't take your help. They'll slap your hand away. But you'll feel, you'll feel better about the whole situation. You can go about your day and your business confident in getting things done while they can only think about you. And the more they think about you, the more they destroy themselves. It's just the way it works. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. When people try and concentrate on hurting somebody else in business, rather than trying to just do business with the people who are good at what they do and just trying to build people up, they destroy themselves. And what's interesting about that is there's nothing you can do to them that they are going to do worse to themselves. You can never save a person from themselves. And they will actually do themselves the worst damage. So don't ever, ever get into a pissing contest with somebody. Just stay away from that crap. There's no reason to fight and battle and go after somebody and make enemies with anybody. It doesn't do you any good. It turns you into that person seething at them. And then you destroy yourself in the process. That, that's in, just in a business mindset, right? Look at what Christ taught in a business mindset. And it literally changes you. And it makes you a much better versus business person. I'll bet you some of the best business advice ever in history. So this this week, what do we have? Um, continuous job, continuing jobless claims. That was yesterday. Um, well, the initial claims they actually went down from what was forecasted. So it was a little bit better for for things. Uh, we had a little bit of a, uh, a good move in the market. Continuing claims are actually higher than what they were in the the what was released last month, and then there was a revision of that. To bring it down even further, and today's or last, you know, the last reading showed even higher from there. So, the jobs report shows that it's a little bit rougher than 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 uh, they think out there. And of course, with the jobs still being an issue in the economy, that should signal something kind of ease up a little bit, right? People are thinking that might bring the rates down, but. Inflation is still keeps reading higher and higher and higher. So it's not going to help the rate. They can't bring the rates down. So we're in a really, really weird position with respect to that. Consumer sentiment, uh, hmm, that's a little bit higher than what was anticipated. That means people are still out there spending freaking money. So there's a few things out there that was pushing uh, things around. We had uh, pending home sales. People are still people are still buying. They're still doing uh, in contracts. They're still pushing things out there to uh, or they're still 
um, pushing out there and looking for real estate. They're still trying to build their portfolio. So if you're thinking now might not be the best time, I think you're probably thinking incorrectly. Now would be a very, very good time to start looking at investment in real estate. Continue to keep investing in real estate. Continue to expanding that because what do we say about the hedge funds? About 44% of the real estate last year. On track to have about 60% control of the real estate by 2030. You need to own it. You need to control it as much as you possibly can. So so where our market ended yesterday, it actually started pretty good. We we started right here where I'm still looking at. It punched all the way up. It held right to the peak of this particular, uh, not to the quite peak of this wick the day before, and it fell right back down to where it started. So we really went nowhere. So we had a good day that really didn't go anywhere. What it means, we're sitting right in the middle of all that that I was showing you last time. This particular downward trend, which actually follows our downward channel. Look at that big old, big old freaking uh, deal we got going on here. This thing is pushing us down at that angle, matching this angle, meaning we're continuing to follow this. Now, I thought maybe if it came up, who knows, might be might might start a different trend, but it's really not. We're literally fell right back down, may continue to go down this 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 uh, trend. Move down the bottom right, swing down like this again, and keep playing in this this direction. So we may have a trend that's going to continue to follow along with the the old channel that I showed you guys before. So you start looking at that, starts to follow that channel. We're doing what I was saying before, which is a blue pill market. We're going to be higher for longer. Seems to be reasonable that that's what we're going to have. So if you're really, 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 really concerned about interest rates, I'd be locking. I'd be locking right now. Thank you, and we'll talk to you guys on Tuesday.